Hey guys, so I just want to check out Android 7.1 Nougat here for the HTC M8. Some people did request this because it is a classic phone, obviously. So we have just installed uh, the latest software here for the uh, the M8, and I just show you the build here. So you can see latest uh, Nugget, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, notice we're getting the pixel kind of uh, areas here. Uh, which you know is quite uh, good because not all of them have this uh, in terms of like uh, you know the actual notification and uh, the buttons at the bottom uh, so that uh, is quite nice if you're looking for a pixel kind of look to your phone uh, if we just have a look at the actual build here this is uh, brought to you by uh, the uh, resurrection Resurrection uh, Remix, I think, uh, ROM, or is it, yeah, Resurrection Remix. Uh, so you can see we have uh, the actual build here uh, in the settings, and I'm not sure if they give you a update facility. They could do. Uh, a lot of them do uh, give you that now, so you don't have to worry about Android patches, etc. You can see we're getting the latest patch level of November, which is quite nice to see. Uh, if we just have a look at the actual uh, ROM, ROM here, you can see uh, everything seems to be uh, taken from Nugat pretty much in terms of the notification shade. Uh, in the actual settings, you do get some uh, configurations which you don't get with uh, the stock uh, Nugat device. You can see like system icons here. You can put on different uh, you know, notifications like 4G, etc. Uh, I think you can uh, customize the uh, logo and the status bar and uh, battery uh, symbols you can change if you want as well. I've just kept it as stock basically because you know I do like to see things as they're intended. Uh, but you can see there's definitely a lot of stuff you can do with this particular ROM to you know really customize your experience a little bit. So that uh, is pretty nice. Uh, if we just have a look as well in here, you we should be able to see uh, pretty much everything that you'll see on a uh, Pixel phone in terms of the settings, etc. The layout looks very similar. Uh, I think we have maybe some uh, wallpapers here, so let's just have a look. Uh, so let's see. So maybe we have uh, some resurrection kind of. Uh, wallpapers here you can see wow massive selection uh, that uh, is very nice to see uh, that they've made some effort and uh, do we get any live wallpapers no I don't even know why they have that still uh, so that's quite nice that they've made some effort there uh, I haven't actually I don't think put any shortcuts on the desktop but we'll just put some on here and then see if we can see the like multitasking etc you can definitely see you got your uh, force touch kind of feature there which is nice to see uh, we'll just open this up and open that up so you can't do it that way but can you do it this way yes you can so you can see you got your multitasking here as well which is very nice to see uh, obviously it's a little bit small screen the m8 but very compact anyway you know to get the job done uh, i don't think we have a google assistant here when i click on this you can see it doesn't seem to do anything uh, so maybe that uh, you know it could be because i don't actually have the google uh, like uh, app on there yet maybe that is the reason for that maybe i should also connect it to wi-fi that would help uh, but I have just uh, put the Google Apps, the Pico Google Apps, so the very minimal bloat on there, just to demonstrate the software here. Just have a look at the camera as well. Uh, so the M8 came with the 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera, lambasted in its day, praised by others. I thought it was quite uh, good in low light, but the good light, not quite up there with the S5 but you know it gets the job done here you can see it works that is the main thing and if we just uh, have a look at the uh, video as well see if that works do 
Du, du, du. So the old, uh, the old Snapdragon is showing its age a little bit here, maybe, uh, when it comes to that. So maybe it's not as quite as stable as what you get with the, you know, the uh, Marshmallow ROM. Just have a look again. See, this is the reason why we do these reviews, to see if there's anything that might not be working so I'd probably put the video recording a bit temperamental there, but not everyone does care about that and you know you just want to see uh, the actual ROM here and you can see we get uh, this audio editor thing which uh, is quite nice, CPU as well. So maybe you can actually uh, change the CPU frequency uh, which you know if you want to get better battery life or more performance that could be quite useful voltage, throttling, etc. Wow, not seeing this kind of, uh, you know, tinkering on a lot of devices. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice to see. Uh, but yeah, you know, where you can see here, very nice uh, nugget uh, kind of build here for the, the M8, fantastic phone, uh, which, uh, you know, is still very uh, usable even today. And uh, I think uh, that about covers it really. You can see similar lock screen here. Uh, obviously you'll be getting all the security good stuff as well with the Android uh, Nougat here. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video looking at uh, the latest software. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get it on your device. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.